Hello again, this is Pete Gerlach, <clears throat> the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. Of the eight lessons, self-improvement lessons, that comprise that website, the first has to do with learning how to manage the amazing, unique, talented subcells that comprise your personality. If you have not yet studied lesson one, this may sound like science fiction. The idea here is your personality is composed of parts, just like players on a sports team or members of an orchestra. They interact with each other all the time. One way they do is something you may be stressed by periodically and be unaware of because it's so common. It's called inner conflicts. Subcells manifest by giving us thoughts. They cause thought streams. They also cause emotions. They generate inner images. They shift our body hormones, nerves, muscles. They affect our lives in many ways all the time and we are normal, not crazy. This video is aimed at helping you gain an idea. If you are troubled frequently or too often by, quote, inner conflicts, I'm going to show you a way to reduce those conflicts and manage them. The conflict occurs between people when one person's needs clash with another. I need to go dancing. I need to be quiet and veg out. We have a problem. Some selves are exactly the same. One sub self needs to vent. I need to talk. I need to, you know, tell my story. Another sub self needs action. I don't care about what you need. Let's get this done. Let's start. Cha let's change this. Let's start something. Let's stop something. Come on, come on, come on. So your sub cells, as they try and help you, which they're uniformly uh, designed to do, they may all talk at once, and they may conflict. That can often stress you, frustrate you puzzle you, cause self-doubt? Um, would you like to manage those things? You can. Here's how. First, study lesson one if you have not, and decide if you accept the idea that as a normal, healthy person, you have personality subselves. If you are willing to try that concept out, the next step, as you'll find in Lesson 1, make a piece of paper and identify specifically who your subselves are. Most people, in my work as an inner family systems therapist for 19 years, most average men and women, and kids, many kids, have somewhere between 15 and 35 subselves. Take a piece of paper and identify your subselves. The next step is practice dialoguing with your subselves. Your true self, if undistracted, and if you concentrate and meditate and get quiet, you can have meaningful conversations with your subselves. So just as you would if you were in a group of three or four people, all of whom were talking at once, and you were the leader, which is what your true self is, if allowed to be, you can say, stop inside your mind, you identify the sub-selves that are all chattering away or conflicted and fighting. You say, stop. We cannot get our work done here unless you are quiet and one person talks at a time. Please be quiet. This takes patience and creativity, and when the inner babble quiets down, you say, now, who needs what? Just as you would with real people. 
focus on one sub-self at a time. For example, your inner critic might say, I just need you to understand how you messed up. You just made a huge mistake and I've got to make sure you understand that so you don't do it again. And your shamed little child says, oh no, I'm bad, I'm terrible. And your guilty little child says, see, I make mistakes all the time, I just made another one. Oh. And the magician says, now, 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 let's look at, uh, let's, let's get a nice refreshing cold drink and go out in the sun and read for a while. We can work on this later. So you've got four sub cells talking at once. Identify each one, and we're going to take care of this one at a time. You, your true self, pick the sub-self that you want to deal with, and use the communication skills that you'll find in Lesson 2 in the Break the Cycle website. There are seven skills. They work with people or sub-cells. Use them with the sub-cells that are all vying for attention inside of you. First, use empathic listening. So, critic, tell me what you need. And the critic goes, well, blah, 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 blah. And you use empathic listening to say back, respectfully, briefly, so you want me to know that blah, blah, blah. And the critic says, yeah, yeah, what are you going to do about it? And you say back, you need to know what action I'm going to take. Yeah, yeah. Listen to your sub-self. That will bring its emotional level down so it can hear you. Use the skill of assertion to say, here's what I need, meaning your true self. Now, let's use problem solving so that you can get your need met and I can get my need met in a way that feels good to both of us. Are you willing to do that? The sub-self may say, yes, no, I don't know, but wait, blah, blah, blah. You have to patiently use these skills. Respect your sub-selves as trying to help you. Use the communication skills in lesson two and do win-win mutual satisfaction problem solving. As you do that with each one of your sub-selves each one at a time, inner babble will go down, clarity will rise, and inner conflict will go away. Your, your true self knows exactly what to do. If allowed to take in the information from your other sub-selves and to coordinate and problem solve with them, he or she is an expert at deciding the next best right thing to do right now. So, what I hope you will try out after watching this video is get to know your sub-cells, identify them using the technique in Lesson 1. The next time you recognize through the skill of awareness that you have a major inner conflict that may be paralyzing you or causing your worrier to just stop non-stop from giving you worried thoughts. Use parts work, which is the, the description of working with your parts. Negotiate with them just as you would real people. Your true self knows instinctively how to do that. The moral of this video is to quiet your mind, make yourself more productive and more serene and less worried and less stressed. Study lesson one and apply it. Study lesson two and apply it. You'll find more videos on each of lesson one and two on YouTube. I hope you enjoy putting these ideas to work. Thanks for watching.